Hey, what's up, what's up? This is Joe from Mineral Production. And this is one of the bags I use for my video gear. And this is from a company called Digital Juice. This is their top load camera bag. Now they do have a smaller version of this. And uh, I chose to go with the big one. And if you ask me, do I recommend this bag? Yes, I do. And I recommend the large one because if you have a rig system or you have just a camera and a video camera and your DSLR, or you have a video camera and you want to protect your gear, I highly recommend this bag. And the reason I highly recommend this bag because if you're starting off with the base unit of your rig system and you want a bag that could grow with your rig system, this bag is perfect for it. All right, so let me go over the bag for you uh, right quick. Uh, as you can see, I have handles here. Uh, these handles do come off. So this is one way you can carry it. It's, a two, it's about three ways you can carry it. And you can take these off if you want, but I chose to leave them on. Uh, and then you have some side handles here if you want to carry it by the side handles, if you want to. And right here is for the big shoulder strap. It comes with a shoulder strap. And I'll show you that because that's in the other pocket on the other side. So you can also carry it by the shoulder strap. Now you have three outside pockets. You got a medium sized one, a small one, and on this side it's a large one. So I'll show you that a little later on. Now in the small pocket, you can put whatever you want in here. In my case, I keep my backup audio. Uh, on the front of it, if you notice, there's a little flap right here. And what this is for, you could put your business cards in there and you could display your business from here. Uh, just slide your card in there and you're good to go. And the bag is uh, waterproof, so you don't have to worry about your stuff getting real wet if you have a good caught in the rain. Uh, this is perfect. Uh, I've had that experience and I've had no problem whatsoever. Now, I had this bag for two years and I had no problems either so far, okay? Uh, like I said, this is a small pocket and you can put whatever you want in here. In my case, I keep my backup audio, such as my Zoom H4N, so that way if ever I, you know, something go with my, wrong with my main microphone, I got backup audio, and I also keep my counterweight. And as you can see, the counterweight is no bigger than the Zoom H4N. This is the counterweight to the rig system. So I keep that in the same pocket with the Zoom H4N, and then that way I don't have to worry about looking for it. Now this pocket here, this is the medium sized pocket. You can put whatever you want in here, but in my case, uh, because it's medium sized, it's the perfect length for my shotgun microphone. Okay, so I can put my shotgun microphone and that stays in there. And then I have my Juice Link DT454 I keep in there. I keep my lens cleaner in there. Okay, and my uh, defogger, I keep my cap to my camera just in case, and I also keep my ND filters in there, or my polarizer filter, all right? And everything fits perfectly in this little pocket here, so I don't have to worry about where am I going to put all the accessories to my rig system. Once I break it down, I have the location of where everything is going to go, okay? So let me flip it around so you can see the other pocket here. And now this is the other pocket. This is the biggest outside pocket, okay? This is, is real big. Now it has another pocket outside the outside pocket. And this is the pocket I was telling you about. And in this pocket, you can put whatever you want in here. But in my case, I keep the shoulder strap because this is the shoulder strap that came with it. And as you can see, it's nice, suede, thick, and it's padded. So if you want, you can carry it. You can hook the shoulder strap on. And then that way, you can carry it with the shoulder strap. And this is adjustable, so if you are a taller person, you can always adjust it to your height. And it's nice, thick, suede, and, and, and it won't slide off your shoulder either. That's the good part about it, because it's suede. You don't have to worry about it sliding off your shoulder. It'll basically grip to your shoulder, all right? And I keep that in that side pocket. That, that's the only thing that I keep in that side pocket, and the reason why is because that way, whenever I get to a shoot, I don't have to worry about looking for the shoulder strap or misplacing the shoulder strap. So as soon as I get to my location, I'll take the shoulder strap off, put it in there, and we're good to go. Now in this pocket, you can put whatever you want in here. I keep like an extra power with the power cord to the camera. I might keep the battery uh, for the camera, the backup battery holder for the camera, uh, a charger, the chargers for the, for the batteries, or I might keep the extra batteries in here. I can put whatever I want in here. 
And this is perfect because then that way I don't have to worry about it. All right, looking for everything. Everything is right in this whole bag, so I don't have to worry about carrying multiple bags to a location. You know, worrying about protecting my gear, protecting this camera, protecting that camera. Everything is in one bag, okay? So now let me show you the top of the bag. This top of the bag is not solid, but it's hard, like hard cardboard uh, built, uh, that's built inside the top of the bag. And it has a pocket on it too. And as you can see right here, this is, it's three pockets right here, 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 and here. And you can put whatever you want inside of this pocket here. You can put, you know, like memory cards, backup batteries. I normally have batteries in here, uh, the memory card. Uh, I keep my fuses for my light just in case, you know, and, I, and right here, as you see, I got my filter for my uh, uh, map box. So, if, you know, anything you want, you can put in here and there's three little pockets here. And uh, like I said, everything is weather sealed, so you don't have to worry about moisture and, and anything getting in there damaging your gear. Now, this is the rig system. Uh, these are the headphones. I keep my headphones sitting right here, and then I just zip the bag up. But these are the headphones. They're in their own case. And this is the rig system. Let me show you the rig system and the camera and everything. As you can see, they got the rig system. I have it on the side. You got three dividers here inside of it. You got one long one you have two short ones. And the way I have mine divided off, I uh, put the rig system on there. Uh, I, adjust this, I adjusted this longer uh, divider to fit the rig system. Then I have my camera down here, and that's sitting on a lens rest. So that way it won't move around. I got my camera right here. I have my follow focus here. I have my two extra lenses right there. I got my white card right here, so that way I won't have to worry about it. I got my white card in here, as you can see. I keep that in there, and then I have the, uh, my blower for the lens in case I need it. I have the monitor. I keep that in the bag. I have the handles to the rig system. These are right here, okay? And then I have the uh, video light in case I need the video light. I take that just in case. So all that is in this bag. As you can see, the whole thing is right here. It's well padded, well protected. I don't have to worry about nothing and I'm good to go. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, oh, let me show you the bottom of the bag. Let me zip this up right quick. 